Hey there, Jollies and Jollies. It's me, King Flump, and welcome back to another time traveling week with the movie and TV review. But here it is our legacy, Anna Anti Toxin. Well, it's so nice to see you, Flump, but I'm out of here right now. Not just right, Anna. No, let's hear it for day two, Egyptian theme. The Mummy Returns! <sighs> Very violent sequel. Has lots of action and peril. Mm. Grab some popcorn and settle in some old fashioned movie fun. The special effects of The Mummy Returns are dated. But the fight scenes are well staged and very exciting. One of the movie's great strength is the art direction. It brilliantly creates the mood, helped along by the period sounding score. It's a shame that The Rock is on screen for such a short time. He makes a real impression in the prologue, but doesn't reappear until the end when he's part rock, part scorpion. Fortunately, there's an entire sequel titled The Scorpion King, just about his character. Talk you kids about, families can talk about how views on archaeological digs have changed since the era in which the mummy returns to set and the current controversies over the ownership of antiquities. Families can also visit local museums to see some of their Egyptian treasures. How was violent used in this movie? Did it seem relevant to the overall story or forced in to provide more excitement? How is this similar to and different from other action-adventure movies? What are some elements of this journey? Well, stay tuned for another movie of The Time Traveling Reviews. It's on its way. So see you soon. Bye.